right, boys, today we're going to be going position by position and giving you guys my favorite options at each and every single one. So we're going to get it started right here with quarterback. I do think the best quarterback in the game is Bo Jackson. Now, you can make some arguments about a P value, but I just think one traditional four best release in the game, the speed you can get up to 99 throw power. Now, I would say the one weakness of the card is the throw under pressure, of course. But again, with strat cards can get him up to hitting the threshold. And also when you combo that with the fact that he can get the Truz X factor, which I really like because you'll only fumble with strips on the quarterback it's, it's kind of a more fun play style but also can get that quad stack of hover master gunslinger gift wrapped and set feed lead for six ap or you can go ahead and not run hot route master which is kind of what i've been doing and only spend three ap on him and potentially even go like a conductor or a roaming dead eye or you could potentially get both abilities on the quarterback that would be seven ap so for me this team is really going to complement that type of play style now at running back right here we are also going to go ahead and have bo jackson um i do think bo jackson also the best running back in the game now i would say there's one reason why i wouldn't run him and why we're gonna go over a backup first off we kind of have to talk about a new thing in the game i guess william perry so william perry on defense spoiler alert he is gonna be there because he cancels out all the x factor players okay but you can do some subbing in subbing out kind of stuff it's worth to talk about okay maybe angry runs on bo jackson like there is a slight counter i guess but this card also gets zero ap evasive which is really really nice but the combo of anger runs evasive the speed the literally everything he is a headache to deal with especially if you aren't running william perry but there's actually two other running backs i want to mention one gives you a good x factor and also just an insane ability and that's going to be marshawn lynch so this card obviously gets the angry runs of course like the bo jackson we just talked about but he also gets rb apprentice for zero which what we said about bo jackson right we're kind of at the point in the game where you don't need to run hot route master because there are zero ap AP wide receiver apprentices, running back apprentices, tight end apprentices everywhere. My favorite one that isn't an X Factor player, though, is going to go ahead and be Christian McCaffrey. Not the honors card, the team of the year, because this card right here, 97 speed. He's a great receiving back, good catching, good route running. He can go ahead and get that backfield master and also jukebox for one AP total, which I want jukebox on the running back because it's just a great ability to have in the game. So I really love this CMC right here. And again, with the style of play for me, for my new style of play, again, getting zero AP apprentices everywhere. CMC would be running back one to me, but I think the best one is Bo Jackson because that anger runs, because that evasive just doesn't really fit what I want to do right now on offense, but that can change. Now we're going to talk about receiver right here. Receiver right here is again, all dependent on what you run on your quarterback. So for me, my top three might be a little bit different than your top three. My top three receivers are going to get that wide receiver apprentice for zero. And also I really like the yak em up X factor. My top three is going to be Michael Irvin right here. I just want to show this card from an ability standpoint real quick. And obviously he does get that yak em up, which I do think is better than double me by the way i should say that uh you're just really not playing a lot of secure tacklers in the secondary but you are playing some ko's double me can still insta beat man press which is nice if you if you want to run like a double me and you want to run a yak up you can do that too but he also gets wide receiver prints in jukebox i think jukebox on the receiver this year or evasive as well super underrated because the fact that like jukebox and evasive basically dumb out the defense and it just makes it very hard to tackle this is another player that gives us the flexibility to not run how about master at wide receiver two right here this is my my personal favorite receiver in the game and he's a bill okay he's a bill and i'm saying that i'm a dolphins fan i don't like the bills but andre reed 97 speed he's six foot two as well and let's go ahead and pull up his card real quick once again like 97 speed but to me really the speed isn't the the thing like or the reason why i'm running cards uh gets that yak em up ability for zero ap and he also goes ahead and gets wide receiver apprentice this time mid and elite which is nice on like some post routes potential corners as well depending on your offense so i love andre reed and finally right here at a wide receiver three spot we're gonna go ahead and have darius hayward bay six foot two once again 98 speed gets potential yak em up right here does get the moss but again to me the yak em up is what's really valuable this time for abilities though he can go ahead and get wide receiver apprentice for zero ap or even evasive which like i said i do like that on receivers but with this setup i would run the wide receiver apprentice so that's what my trio of wide receivers is looking like something else i could see you doing and just some people i want to mention demarius thomas mike evans and also someone that could fit in this lineup as well as nico collins uh nico collins does get slot apprentice for zero you know what he'll I'll, we'll go ahead and make him our wide receiver three over darius hayward bay and also besides nico collins there's another slot receiver that we should talk about as well and that's going to go ahead and be a monra st brown now my bad all that yeah the 98 overall monra st brown he's great as well i think you can argue darius hayward bay a monra or nico collins literally any of them can fit this role um he's a little bit shorter so he's six foot but he does get that jukebox ability for zero ap and he gets slot apprentice for zero so he can be a perfect slot receiver for you 
you. Um, again, if you want to run the non Howard Master offense, but I don't know him versus Nico Collins. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Who do you think wins that battle? Like I said, receivers is a position that's so deep. It's really dependent on are you running Howard Master? Because the people I mentioned, like Demarius Thomas, Mike Evans, I think you can argue them their top end, especially if you're running Howard Master and you don't need like wide receiver print and slot prints. You know what I'm saying? So, so I like that trio of wide receivers is like the tall guys. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is what my trio is looking like. Nico Collins is our slot receiver. Now at fullback right here, I know it's pretty easy to just say Christian Okoye, but I really do like Alec Ingold as well. Christian Okoye is more like annoying than I think like just insane. You just get Vanguard for two AP, but do you want to spend two AP on Vanguard? I don't really think you do. Uh, the jukebox for zero to me really does nothing because of the fact that he's like over 245. So he's not gonna get that quick juke animation. For me, like, look, you can say it's Dolphins bias, you can, but Alec Ingold getting one RB apprentice. So this is another card you could play at running back if you didn't want to, but goal line back and also honorary lineman. I just think he will actually do like the most work for you as an actual fullback. Christian Okoye is more of a running back than like a true fullback. So that's why I think Alec Ingold's right here. Now a tight end for me, I will say the card that I think plays like the best is 97 overall Kyle Pitts. However, I'm not gonna put him as the best because of what I'm valuing on my players. Also, Dalton Schultz gets a great ability combo, admittedly, and matchup nightmare. He's a top and tight end for sure. But the first we're going is a third Bo Jackson right here. So this card right here is annoying for a couple of reasons. I will say this is more of a pass catching back, but also if you run the ball, he gets that Vanguard, which after nine plays is gonna be on every single time unless you, unless you have William Perry, right? So this right here is a very annoying card. And also some things that I also think are valuable that a lot of people don't talk about is the fact obviously like 98 speed gonna get that quick juke really good pass blocker so if you pass block him i know he's not gonna really like these stats really don't matter for the unstoppable forces still kind of an underrated thing that i did want to cover but this time uh x factor obviously gets yak him up to and vanguard so like if you want to use them more as a pass catching back, the yak them up, just like what I said about the receiver, breaking the first tackle, a lot of highlight plays right here, but also just from a base ability standpoint, tight end apprentice for zero AP. That's what I'm looking on my tight end because again, like I said, we are running a no how Rod master offense and we're going to have space for conductor and roaming dead eye on our quarterback with this specific lineup. Now let's talk about offensive line. So offensive line, you want zero AP secure pros everywhere left tackle right here it would be andrew thomas but he still isn't in the game for some reason so i'm gonna go ahead and still have andrew whitworth not the field pass card but the super bowl card use a lighted up token on him and he can get secure protector for zero ap we're gonna go to right tackle next we're gonna go ahead and have rob haven't seen right here now there's a card that can get secure pro and linchpin for zero ap so i like that too just getting that linchpin boost i don't think it's a game changing ability by any means a zero ap ability is a zero ap ability you know what i'm saying now at a guard spot right here we're gonna go ahead and turn natural position off and we're going to play jason kelsey right here at a guard spot the reason for that is he can get all day and he can get secure protector for zero ap which is the just he is an in-game guard i wouldn't play him at center i would play him at guard and at center right here i am going to go ahead again play someone out of position we're going to go ahead and go go big q right here i think he gets the best ability combo for a center so he can go ahead and get post up and secure protector in total for one ap which is really really nice man the center is going to be double teaming with both guards so i think that's really nice now right guard right here could go larry allen just another zero ap secure pro but for me, I'm going to get someone that's secure pro all day for one AP and I'm just going to get Greg Van Road. Now you could probably find a better offensive lineman than him that gets this stack. Offensive line to me from a stat standpoint really doesn't matter. It's all about the ability. So we're spending one AP at the right guard right here. You could literally have anyone that gets secure pro all day right here for one AP. It, to me, it doesn't matter. It's literally all about abilities at this point. Now this is where it does get tough though. I said overall, this is the best, but we were talking about how to spend AP, right? So Bo Jackson right now, our quarterback, we want to run the Sefi lead, the gunslinger, the gift wrap, roaming dead eye and can conductor okay that's like the big five abilities i think on quarterback right now we can go ahead and potentially say you know what we don't need the running dead eye like we can run angry runs and we can run like an all day right here but if we want the running dead eye i think we have to make a singular change and that is get, just getting a zero ap secure pro at guard which i will say this like i don't think it's going to be night and day difference but you'll notice a slight one we'll just go zero ap secure pro nash trick on larry allen so right now we're spending one ap on uh quentin nelson zero ap on our tight end zero ap zero ap zero ap and this right here is a one ap spot so whether you you want to go angry runs or if you want to run cmc with that backfield master I'll give him all the hot routes and then seven ap on the quarterback so this is what the offense is looking like for me now we're going to go ahead and talk about defense my best defensive lineup is going to go ahead and have william perry 
at defensive tackle. I know a lot of people probably don't want to run this card, but to me, for my enjoyment of the game, I think he makes defense a lot easier. It's four AP for momentum shift. I would run interior threat and also secure tackler on him as well. Get a little boost, get a little boost in the pass rush. You could do lurk artists as well. But for me, that is four out of our 11 AP. All right, now we're going to talk about corner. We want deep out mid zone on the outside. So I really think, by the way, too, Tariq Woolen. This is a card that isn't the greatest from an AP standpoint, but the reason why he's so great, okay, it's the six foot four. The reason why the tall DBs are good, especially if you're in like a double Mabel solid coverage, say he's playing a 25 yard flat. So his 25 yard flat is going to play like 35 yards. The reason why is the taller players, they just have so much more range. And if we look at Tariq Woolen, okay, the reason why he's here, obviously for me is the height, the speed, everything is great, man zone. Now he does have some options of what you can run on him, right? So an X factor, he can get universal coverage or he could get reinforcements for zero. Universal coverage, this would be after nine plays. It's every single KO, one step ahead, gives reaction time. It's it's everything you would want on a player in the secondary, right? But just base abilities, this is what I would say to run on them. You could go like mid zone pick arts and universal. You could do that. I would just go deep zone, mid zone for two. Now that right now is six out of our 11 AP. So we have five remaining AP to spend. At a CB2 spot right here, I'm gonna go ahead and play our first out of position player on defense. We're gonna go ahead and go Rashad Jones. Now he is six foot one. I will say this is another spot where if we get in another eventual like six foot four, six foot five, like, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe we get an out of position. This is a spot that I could be willing to spend a little bit more AP just again with how good the tall players play like 25 yard zones, 30 yard zones compared to even someone that's six foot one like Rashad Jones. Now he gets deep out mid zone for one AP. Now, right now that would be seven out of our 11 AP. Now free safety right here. I'm going to go ahead and go Ed Reed. Ed Reed with 96 speed, 97 acceleration. He like a lot of people were kind of discounting his speed. I don't know if you guys have used Ed Reed cards. This dude flies to the ball. He does get deep zone and mid zone for one AP total. If you can't tell, I'm valuing the KOs over pick artists. Probably should have said that a little bit earlier. So again, now we spent eight out of our 11 AP. Now at strong safety right here, I think you have two options. You could go Jair Brown with deep zone KO, pick artists, and mid zone in total for one AP. I'm going to go ahead and have... Kevin Byard. Reason why we're having Kevin Byard right here, he is like, I get he's 95 speed and a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, that's not usable. I completely disagree that this isn't usable. This card right here, again, the speed to me really doesn't matter. He gets, okay, universal coverage elevated three, which it's around like 500K to make him this. And that is, again, what I said about Tariq Woolen, every single KO, man in zone KO, reaction time. And after three plays, it's on the entire game. So I love this right here, but also just as a base too, you go pick artist and mid zone for zero AP. So I really, really like that too. So you can spend zero AP on this card and just be fine. That, that's why I would do him over Jair Brown. Just because Jair Brown, one, you have to use the X Factor spot anyway, and two, it's one AP compared to zero. So again, this is eight out of our 11 AP. Now we're going to fill out the rest of the secondary, okay? This is a spot, cornerback three, I think of this as a slot CB spot. This is where Peanut Tillman is playing for me. And I could see the argument of him being on the outside just because deep out mid zone for one AP is really great. But again, I really love that height of Tariq Woolen. But this card, Peanut Tillman this time, 97 speed, six foot two so even good height but this time when we look at the card okay uh what i think is insane about him is his abilities for a slot corner now he's pretty similar to our other cornerback like he could get mid zone and pick artist for zero ap mid zone flat zone for zero that is the perfect slot cb stack like it's absolutely perfect the only role it's not perfect then is like a big nickel over g if you play him in like outside thirds and stuff or or like the safety package with that but for almost 99 percent of y'all that is basically everything he could react to in like a flat zone for a slot cb so he is absolutely perfect. I could say he's end game. I could say he's end game because of that stack. I guess maybe we'll get mid zone, flat zone pick artists for zero eventually, but I just don't really want to spend AP on this. So I'm also going to have Sauce Gardner as our final slot CB. This is a card that can get mid zone and uh, pick artists for zero. So I really like these two guys right here. Flats are like a slot CB type of role. Also, by the way, too, again, we're spending eight out of 11 AP. Sauce would make it 11 out of 11 if you want to play him right here, but he's six foot three deep out mid zone pick artists for three AP total. You can see that or actually that would be 10 out of 11 so you could make that work too if you do want a taller player instead of Rashad Jones now all right we haven't spent a single AP point on our slot CVs which is great because now we get the flexibility on defense so we could run dollar we could run dime normal we could run big nickel over G we could run nickel over I want to go ahead and make sure we can run things like six one we can run four three we can run th three four we could run literally anything we want Davian Collins should be mentioned in today's video but we're going to talk about him in a second so these linebacker spots to me these aren't edge rushers these are coverage players 
players. Like these are coverage players. These are where they play in my lineup. So at right outside linebacker, I am playing someone out of position. It's going to go ahead and be Fred Warner. So Fred Warner this time, Lurk Artist, mid zone, zero AP, perfect stack for a linebacker. Now he's six foot three. I will say I have tried, like I've gotten a ton of comments like user Fred Warner. When we talk about user, that's going to be our middle linebacker one. I am not a fan of usering Fred Warner. Still a great card for sure. I don't think he's, his best role is a user. And that's why at middle linebacker one right here, this is going to be our user. And this is going to go ahead and be Bo Jackson. Again, playing a little bit of people out of position, but I think this is the best user in the game. 98 speed, 98 speed, six foot one. I feel like he can get to everything, but he also gets lurk artist and secure tackler both for zero AP. So he's really nice against those X factor running backs as well. Even though we have William Perry, it's nice to get as many secure tacklers, especially in a linebacker spot as possible. Now a middle linebacker two right here. I still like Isaiah Simmons. Uh, Patrick Willis is cool too. If you do want to use him right here, but six foot four Isaiah Simmons with 97 speed, 93 zone. He can get the lurk artist for zero. And that's really all I would run on him. You could run a mid zone on him if you feel like you, you want the extra AP, but also at a left outside linebacker spot right here, we're once again going to turn natural position off. We're going to go ahead and talk about Tremaine Edmonds. Tremaine Edmonds right here, obviously at this point, not the fastest, but he's still six foot five, really tall defender. Like I've had him in hard flats, pick off things you wouldn't believe, but the sack I'd run on him, he gets a lurk artist, secure tackler and mid zone KO one AP total is great. So now on defense, we have spent nine out of our 11 AP. Okay. And also right now, if you think about it, we've used an X factor spot on Kevin Byard and also William Perry. So we have one more X factor spot remaining and I'm going to go ahead and use it on the defensive line. Now there are some players that I don't want to mention for this end spot. You can use Brian Arakpo in my opinion, or you can use George Karloftis. Those will be the two I'm between. I'm going to go ahead and go Karloftis just because the, it starts on, you know what I'm saying? 94 speed, 90 acceleration X factor player for us. Um, I would run the Colossus because I think Colossus does a better job of just like running through secure protectors. Now at a defensive tackle two spot right here, I could see a couple different arguments, but I just think far more from a value standpoint, man, inside stuff, no outside both for zero AP. Love this card. I think like, again, he's six foot four, three ten. Think of him more of a defensive tackle than an end anyway. 90 speed, 90 acceleration. Great blood. Like I, inside stuff, no outsiders for zero. Still can work on secure protectors. And that's exactly what I said about Colossus too. Colossus does have a chance to completely run through secure protectors. So really like these defensive linemen right here. And finally rounding this out, this right here for me would be a hybrid player that can rush the passer or drop into a zone. And the person that's absolutely perfect for that role is Xavier Collins, especially the LTD one, he can get Lurk Artist, Mid Zone, and Edge Strut for one AP total. Now it should be noted as well, okay? Xavier Collins is the first person in the game to get mid zone KO for discount as an outside linebacker. Like if we go ahead and look, okay? Let's go to all discounted players right here and let's go to outside linebacker, okay? You're gonna see that it's Xavier Collins and then it's like two AP everywhere else, okay? So the reason why that's so important, right? We can start Xavier Collins as an end and if we drop him into a hook, if we drop him into a flat, he is now going to get reaction time compared to, you know, Mr. Monday night, Christian Harris, you know what I'm saying? He is a game changing card for me. He's very great and he'll be on my team for a while. Yeah, this is what my defense is looking like. And it, at the end of the day, man, it's really all about scheme. It's really all about scheme, but I think we have basically every formation covered right here. Never thought Warren Sapp wasn't going to make it for me, but yeah, boys. Now let's talk about special teams. Kicker right here, Jake Elliott, uh, 97 kick power, new best kicker in the game. And he gets both the slow meters, which is really, really nice. And finally, punter right here. He's not showing up right now, but it is going to go ahead and be, but it's going to go ahead and be the Scottish hammer, Jamie Gillian, 99 overall punter with 97 kick power. Also gives an AKA boost to the team. So yeah, boys, this was my thought process on the best cards in Madden 24. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. Hopefully I was able to help you. A lot of like ability stuff in this video, but kind of like the best ability lineup is now the best lineup. We're at that point of the year where that's really the main thing that is separating cards. And I know some people are probably not going to like that I played so many people out of position but like i think that's the game we play yeah boys i hope y'all did enjoy the video man if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this and to stay up to date with the best cards in madden now if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use a team just like this live i stream here on youtube and twitch every single day 2 p.m to 6 p.m eastern if you guys do want to watch on the youtube side of things make sure that noti bell you'll be notified every time i upload or go live here or watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with the follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here because this was me ranking the best quarterbacks in madden 24